New tonight, the Customs and Border Protection Commissioner made a stop here in San Diego today to announce a new strategy for the fight against fentanyl. CBS 8's Brian White is live at the Ped West border crossing tonight in San Isidro with more on these latest efforts to combat the crisis. Brian. Commissioner Miller held a news conference today with partners, including our own Mayor Todd Gloria, nearby over at the port of entry to announce their latest coordinated efforts to combat fentanyl smuggling. I take this personally. Fentanyl is coming through our borders. It's killing uh, children, parents, grandchildren, our neighbors, our co-workers. Troy Miller, Commissioner for Customs and Border Protection, showing his resolve to stem the flow of illicit fentanyl and precursor chemicals across the U.S. border with Mexico. The joint effort is called Operation Apollo. This is the kickoff of a sustained strategy to go after the transnational criminal organizations that are trafficking this poison into our communities. Operation Apollo will coordinate efforts and information sharing between not only federal agencies like the DEA, FBI, and DHS, but also with local partners like the city of San Diego. We cannot be passive observers in the face of this crisis. I've heard the stories. I've seen the despair. I've seen the predatory manner in which dealers prey on our most vulnerable residents. Greater enforcement and harsher penalties for illicit fentanyl dealers is an imperative. In our city alone, 410 people died of accidental overdose involving fentanyl last year. That's a sharp 800% increase from five years ago when 45 people died from fentanyl. This crisis is even more acute on our streets, and it is supercharging our homelessness crisis. Five years ago, three people experiencing homelessness died due to fentanyl overdose. Last year, it was 181. CBP is beefing up resources to look for precursor chemicals and pill making equipment like presses and dye molds. And there's several reasons why he chose San Diego as a place to launch this operation. 200,000 people cross our borders here in Director Aki's area of responsibility. That's 20% of all passengers that enter into the U.S. every single day. 47% of all fentanyl seizures happen here in San Diego. The commissioner did mention $13.6 billion worth of additional funding for border security proposed to Congress by the Biden administration as part of a larger spending package proposed by Biden last week. Marcella? $13.6 billion. That is a lot of money. If it was approved by Congress, do we know how that money would be spent for border security? For more personnel and equipment, specifically to hire 1,000 more CBP officers and 1,300 more Border Patrol agents across the southwest border. All right. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks so much, Brian.